Hello, dear listeners. Welcome back to MedSynapse Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Nigar, and today we have an incredibly enlightening episode lined up for you. We have the privilege of being joined by a true visionary in the field of pulmonary vascular disease, Dr. Arun Waxman, the Executive Director of the Center for Pulmonary Heart Diseases at Brigham and Women's Hospital and an Associate Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. He is here to provide us with an exclusive preview of the upcoming 2023 Right Heart Symposium. This is a must-attend gathering for clinical and research professionals. And throughout this episode, we will be delving into the goals of the symposium, how medical professionals can get involved, and more about the exciting developments and insights that the 2023 Right Heart Symposium has in store for us. Welcome, Dr. Waxman. Thank you very much. Dr. Waxman, this symposium undoubtedly has some powerful objectives. Could you tell us about the primary goals of this event in terms of advancing knowledge and understanding of pulmonary vascular disease and its management? Sure, and thank you for inviting me for this. Um, just some brief background about pulmonary vascular disease. It's really a, a broad disease spectrum that we think of including both pre-capillary and post-capillary and combined pulmonary hypertension. So really a spectrum of disorders with attendant consequences of right ventricular function. Patients generally are very symptomatic as the disease progresses and it's ultimately fatal because of right ventricular failure. And despite advances in the management of pulmonary vascular disease, the mortality rate still remains disproportionate. And importantly, we still have no specific RV targeted therapeutics. Um, importantly, evaluation and treatment of these patients is often delayed until patients present with serious complications, as well as evidence of RV dysfunction. I think effective management really requires timely recognition, accurate diagnosis, and selection of a host of different therapeutic options and aggressively targeting the pulmonary vascular disease and supporting right ventricular function. So to that end, what the goals of this symposium are really fourfold. One, we want people, and this is really intended as a high level symposium. Uh, we want people to understand the advanced hemodynamics and physiologic correlates of right ventricular pulmonary arterial interaction and coupling. Uh, we want them to understand the options for advanced approaches to diagnosis, including imaging and ways of how we might monitor right ventricular function and pulmonary vascular remodeling. We also want to update people on a lot of the new uh, treatments that are coming down the pipeline and specifically look at things like the disease modifiers that are coming to market hopefully in the next year or two, including uh, platelet-derived growth factor inhibitors and TGF-beta uh, targeted signaling. And there are also new interventional as well as device approaches to supporting patients with pulmonary vascular disease and especially right ventricular dysfunction. And lastly, we want people to understand the pharmacologic and percutaneous interventions that might help augment or restore RV function in patients with advanced disease or even critical illness. It's fascinating to hear how this symposium is set to drive meaningful progress in the field. Now, let's get practical for our interested medical professionals out there. Could you provide some details on how they can join and participate in this event, including registration and attendance? Sure. Uh, there's actually a website that uh, the web address can be posted. And we work closely with the North American Thrombosis Forum, which is a nonprofit organization that helps promote our symposium. And like I said, they're a nonprofit. They're dedicated to improving lives of patients who have had blood clots. But it's very important that the pulmonary vascular realm overlaps very closely. I think everyone's very familiar with pulmonary embolism and venous thromboemboli, uh, and they really help promote the whole recognition, diagnosis, and treatment in that realm. So we're a nice partnership. 
In addition to the educational sessions, could you share some insights into the net networking opportunities and interactive components that participants can expect to engage during the event? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the format of the symposium is that it's broken into a series of uh, topic-focused presentations, and we have secured an impressive faculty from really around the U.S. and Europe um, that are all, I would say, leaders in the field. They will be presenting state-of-the-art talks, but importantly, these talks are meant to be relatively short to allow for discussion. Uh, there will be plenty of opportunity also, not only through panel discussions to interact directly with the faculty, but also uh, the sessions in between sessions where we are setting up opportunities for people to just talk one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, really, the goal is to promote new ideas for new research, new clinical approaches, and lots of opportunity to really gain one-on-one -on -one from people who do this every day. Now, let's explore the scope of the symposium. Could you provide a glimpse into the different lung blood pressure issues covered at the event and how they will require distinct treatments? Sure. So uh, just to kind of go through what the specific sessions are and what we hope people will gain from these, you know, we have a specific session on assessing right ventricular function and its response to treatment. That includes looking at hemodynamics. It includes looking at imaging like echo, MR, PET imaging, as well as advanced imaging techniques where we try to combine several of these modalities, as well as things that aren't quite out there in the, the you know, the, the clinic yet, uh, that we can look at re ways of reconstructing trees and reconstructing hearts to look at how they interact on computer models. We also have a session on the failing right heart and how we might salvage the right heart, especially in an age where we still have no targeted therapy. There we want to talk about vasopressors, inotropes, what are the pluses and minuses, when should we be considering mechanical circulatory support, and when is a heart too sick for transplantation versus the optimal timing of transplantation. Um, we'll also have a keynote that kind of brings it all together as to how you combine all this information to come up with a plan and an approach to treating the patient. We have a session on advanced hemodynamics. I think a lot of people just get a report from the cath lab that lists pressures, but really understanding what the waveforms tell us, how can we assess the 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 efficiency of the interaction between the right heart and the pulmonary vasculature, what is the role of the proximal vessels versus the distal vessels, and what happens when we are very aggressive about treatment versus slow. So all of those things I think are very practical. We have a session on pulmonary embolism about really how to assess the patient what is a sick patient versus a not so sick patient and how do you treat these patients and how do you make long-term treatment decisions. Uh, we'll have a session on all the new therapies that are coming down the pipeline. Uh, a number of the presenters are on the, the, the really the steering committees and principal investigators for ongoing clinical trials so we'll be able to update people on where we are with these new agents and then we also want to talk about non-pulmonary hypertensive pathology like arteriovenous malformations uh, anomalous venous returns things that don't happen often but things that are very difficult to manage uh, will all be addressed uh, during the session in terms of recent medical advancements how will the event touch on promising developments that enhance the health of pulmonary vascular disease patients? So we have a number of specific uh, discussions uh, being planned, including new targets of therapy in the TGF-beta system and the PDGF system, all of which all of us are involved in these clinical trials. We're looking at targeting metabolism as a, another modality of treatment since we know that when right hearts start to fail, they shift their metabolism to a less efficient function. And then also some mechanical approaches like an intrapulmonary artery balloon pump as well as mechanical circulatory support targeting the right heart, which right now is just not part of our treatment armamentarium. Lastly, the connection between the right heart and lung arteries is a pivotal focus. 
Could you briefly explain how the event addresses these connections and their impact on the treatment approaches under discussion? Sure. So right now, a lot of our treatment approach is targeting the pulmonary vascular bed itself and really using pulmonary vasodilators that may have secondary effects on fibrosis and remodeling. As we move into a new realm of disease modifiers that target these other pathways that I already mentioned, you know, the expectation is that we can drive remodeling in the pulmonary vascular bed. But a lot of this takes time, which is why we are also thinking about device approaches, as well as therapies that may have a beneficial effect on the heart itself, both from a standpoint of antifibrotic and improved metabolism. And fundamentally, what that all comes down to is right ventricular pulmonary arterial coupling, not only targeting it as a therapeutic, but also being able to assess it in the response to treatment so we can guide treatment based on those responses. Thank you, Dr. Wexman, for providing us with these intriguing insights into the upcoming symposium. This event holds tremendous promise for advancing our understanding of pulmonary vascular disease and improving patient care. I'd just like to thank you for the opportunity to get the word out there about our symposium. And certainly if anyone has any questions, they should reach out and I'll be happy to answer any questions they might have. Thank you, Dr. Wexman. And to our listeners, if you're interested in joining this impactful event, you will find a registration link in the podcast description below. And if you do have any questions, you can also provide your questions below and we will forward the questions to Dr. Waxman. And for those eager to stay updated with medical advancements, I encourage you to register for free on our MedSynapse platform and become an active member. Thank you for tuning in and until next time, goodbye.